Hey guys, what's up? So not my usual time, um, but I was visiting my parents and just thought, ah, oh, why not taking a shot for tonight? So yay, here we are. Today, this video will take a little bit more time um, than the others, just because the history of the distillery is quite interesting. So just lean back, grab a dram and just have a nice evening or a nice few minutes. But first of all, as always, let me show you the bottle i love the design and it's like more rough it's not it's not um, even or something like that i really like that and i think that is um how do you say that braille i'm not quite sure but i hope you know what i mean so i really like this one and that is the box with the logo and of course that is the whiskey looks yummy all right, so let's go to the history of the distillery. The Isle of Rarin was once um, known for its great whiskey, in fact, but then the island uh, was without a distillery for about like 150 years, so quite for a time. Um, till Herbert Cui founded the Isle of Rarin Distillers LTD in 1991 together with David Hutchison. And um, they had a quite cool uh, idea um, with a lot of ads and advertising um, the sale of promissory notes was uh, forced so after a few years the one who um, bought the note um, was promised to exchange this one um, for whiskey <laughs> so that's pretty cool i think for me and in fact the concept worked and the distillery was finally able to start in 1995 it's located in Lochanza in the valley. I can't pronounce that correctly. I'm pretty sure of that. Glen Eason Biorach. You know me, guys. I'm sorry for that. And that means like valley of the little waterfall. With the start of the distillery, the master distillers um, already used a large number of casks, which um, is quite reflected today in a variety of bottlings as well. Um, the distillery water comes from Loch Nadevi. And in 1997, they opened a visitor center by Queen Elizabeth II. In 2017, uh, the distillery responded to the growing demand, namely the production capacity was increased quite a bit. But in fact, you see the logo and you see the two um, eagle in it, but what is the history behind that? I mean, why do uh, the the um, distillery has like a logo with two eagles in it? That's pretty easy to answer and I really like this history behind it or the story behind it. Um, the original opening was supposed to take place in 1994 instead of 1995, but a pair of eagles has settled down to building a nest so they can't open the distillery due to uh, protection. And so they the start had to be postponed for a year and um, the distillery was like, oh, that's quite a cool story. So just let put the two eagles in our logo. And I really like that. How cool is that? I really like the story behind it. So, but now we have a look to the whiskey. It was distilled on the 19th of July in 1996 and was majored in Oloroso Sherry Hogshead. Uh, we have cast number 784. It was bottled on the 10th of June in 2021 and we have 259 bottles and we got bottle number 113 and it comes with 47.6 um, of ABV. It's non-chill filtered, non-colored and it's exclusively bottled for uh, deinwhiskey.de. So it's so a German exclusive. So we'll see. I hope you already grabbed a dram and will enjoy that with me together. So let's see how the smell is. So I initially have like dark berries, raisins, oranges, and a kind of a mocha note. Quite promising. Slanche, guys. All right, so although it's just 47.6% of ABV, I really have a strong attack with a little bit like, like a metallic note as well. Mm, I have chocolate notes, but also like spices like cinnamon, uh, forest honey, like the dark, dark honey, if you know what I mean, ginger, 
I also have oak notes. And there's what, what I find surprising in more in the background, more uh, when it goes to the finish, there are also chili notes. I really like that one because they give that a little more pep. <laughs> the finish is, for me, it's way too short. Uh, it should have been longer for me. I mean, it's always subjective. Um, but you have ginger notes and oak notes again. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's tasty and it's delicious and I like it, but I paid around 200 euros and I wouldn't buy that again because it's not, you know, it's not knocking me off to this chair, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, I need to say I expected more, in fact, because from the description it was like in superlatives and yeah. So it's delicious, but I wouldn't buy it for 200 euros. Then I would spend my money for another one. But I uh, honestly, I have to say, me and Aaron are not best friends. Um, most of the time I don't like the character, which is fine. You can't like everything. My money will be happy, so that's okay. All right. Um, I also heard a lot of people who love this one. So you need to try it by yourself, <laughs> like always. But as for me, I wouldn't buy it for 200 euros. So that's... That's the fact or that's the conclusion, although it's a delicious one. And now I'm curious as always, uh, what is your favorite whiskey of this distillery? Just leave me a comment and have a great evening. I hope you have this beautiful weather as we do. And yeah, have a great evening and we see us on Friday. Bye guys.